Hi everyone, and welcome to Power Plays. I'm Harry, and this is my two-point hospital walkthrough. Today, we're going to be looking at the Lower Bullocks. The Lower Bullocks the second hospital, and as such, we're going to be getting introduced to more and new rooms, new illnesses, and we're actually going to get the opportunity to expand the hospital by purchasing new buildings. So let's get started. Expand the organization by establishing a second hospital. And this one has emphasis on new buildings. There are four plots that we can actually buy. Um, and to get three stars, um, we need to have bought three of them. So we're gonna have to be doing some expanding. So staff qualifications, welcome to Lower Bullets. It's a lovely little village with a big problem. A significant proportion of the population believe themselves to be rock stars. There's only one thing that can cure this, psychiatry. The doctors with a psychiatry qualification will be able to diagnose and treat people in the psychiatry room. You managed to find one, but you should keep your eyes peeled for job applicants with the psychiatry and other useful qualifications. So this is touching on what we discussed in the first video and how I demonstrated getting the right staff with the right qualifications really help the cure rate. So for example, in the GP office, we want staff doctors that have strong GP skills and the same in the psychiatry. So let's start by pausing friends. this. And the first thing we've got to do is build a psychiatry. But before we do that, I'm just going to show you the plots that we can buy. So this is going to be plot two for 50,000. We got another plot here, um, 75K and here for 25k and so we'll be using these um, eventually to expand our hospital so first off first off i'm gonna sell everything in this hospital pretty much apart from the reception desk purely because i like to start from scratch i, oh, I don't like those weird shapes um, and yeah, very particular about how I do my hospitals, which you guys will get to see and enjoy as much as I do. I'll leave the reception desk pretty much where it is. I'm just going to move it back just a tad. And then therefore, I'll keep the pen. Let's move that back a bit. And then let's replace that GP room with our classic 4x3, door in the corner, we want uh, that to be as close to the door as possible, and then we will snap the filing cabinet and put it there. We don't need a fire extinguisher because there's no... Um, there's no machines. However, what we can unlock now with our kudos is the medicine cabinet. Now, I'm going to go ahead and unlock this. A quite expensive. Um, however, the medicine cabinet is something which I like to put a lot of in all the rooms I can. So you can see here, full of expired medicine, makes the room look more professional. Plus one diagnosis power, plus one treatment power. So, for every one we put in, we're going to be improving the likelihood of diagnosing the patient. So, I like to put as many of these in as possible. So, you'll see now why I create the rooms like I do. They are quite expensive, so it might be something which you build up to um, in your own hospital if you don't want to spend the money. So you can see a thousand for each one, and you can see they're also going to be improving my room prestige because the more items you put in, uh, there we go, the better prestige you have. So this can be a bit of a pain just to line up but 
you get the hang of it eventually, and this is why I disable the grid snap, for sure, because it just makes it so much easier to place. Uh, let's get the camera right. But you can see it's proven to be quite an expensive room now. One twenty, pretty much twenty-five. But by putting all these in, so what we got six, ten, twenty, twenty-one. That's an extra twenty-one percent diagnosis power. Um, so what that will mean is that we don't have to have as many further diagnostics rooms. Um, and that's going to help us out a lot. That's going to be pushing patients to just visit the GP once and then get out of there as soon as possible. Let's have a look if there's anything else that we can unlock with our kudos. We've only got 200 left, but there is one item which I really like. And I put it in most of my rooms. If I've got it. It's the Gold Star Award. Now the Gold Star Award increases the hospital attractiveness and then obviously the prestige. So let's go ahead and unlock that. And you can just cover the room with them. So you can see I'm just placing them pretty much everywhere. And what it does is it increases the attractiveness of the room, um, which is going to be better for patients, it's going to be better for staff, and now I have a prestige level 5 GP's office. Now the only additional things that I usually put in this room is a rug, just to make it look nice. Um, and you don't have to, it doesn't really add much other than um, a bit of prestige. And I will eventually put in a radiator or an aircon unit when we get there. So that is our first ideal, in my opinion, GP room. Let's have a look at what staff we've got. We have a doctor with a psychiatry trait. We don't have a doctor with a GP trait. And you can see that we're getting doctors with psychiatry traits and diagnostics. So I'm just going to, let's have a look, who's better? I'm going to get rid of this one because this guy is dirty, not great, but he's cheap. Let's see what the next person comes in as. And I know we're going to build a ward at some point. Let's just leave it for now. We need to build a psychiatry, but before we do that, let's build a pharmacy. Just because, again, we know, as per the last one, there is a lot of illnesses which we need the pharmacy for. So again, this is a place where I like to put lots of medicine cabinets um, just to increase the treatment power. So the great thing about the, the medicine cabinet is that not only does it help improve diagnosis, but it also helps the come on, treatment as well. So already just by putting these in you can see sometimes it can be a real pain just to get them fitting exactly and just maximizing the space um already we're really increasing our chances of curing patients and diagnosing them as quickly as possible which oh let's just move that which is the key to a great hospital um Again, this is pretty expensive. Um, not as expensive as what we're going to do with the training room. Wait till we unlock the training room. Yeah, that's an expensive first purchase. Um, but you can see what we're at 25, 22K, and we're really not done yet. But as I said, definitely definitely worth it and like you don't have to be as precise as what I'm being um, I just do it this way just get it out of the way with do it once and then you don't have to do it again um, and then yeah you can see already what 20 again another 21% increase in what will be our treatment so let's just bang 
a few more of these in and you can see the besiege you can't actually see it going up the bar but it is going up um it's just something the witch sometimes glitches with this game sometimes you see it slowly level up sometimes you don't but there you go we now have a besieged level five pharmacy as well and yeah might not look authentic or pretty um but it's definitely gonna do the business it's really gonna help us out Makes people feel sick. Oh. Uh, higher for now. Um, probably not going to keep her. We haven't really got a doctor to work in the um, uh, GP's office yet. But let's just build these extra rooms. So we've got a two space here so it's probably a good place to put the toilets again same deal as we had with all the other toilets you guys are going to become a pro at this in absolutely no time at all um i always build these pretty much the same um you know i figured out what kind of works best for me and what i think should work best in general for the hospital um and i just replicate it each time um, I'm not too worried about getting a really high prestige toilet. Um, people aren't going to be spending too much time in there, so I'm just going to leave that prestige 4 for now. So finally, we, not finally, but we have a staff room to build, and hmm, how many is that going to be? That's going to be 5, and we have a psychiatry to build. Let's see, let's just have a look. Where do we want to put this? So the psychiatry can be used for both treatment and for diagnosis. I usually like to keep our diagnosis rooms and our treatment rooms together. Um, so although in the start, I put the pharmacy next to the GP room, I'll probably move it at some point and then put the psychiatry in there. So let's for now, no, wrong thing. Let's for now plop in a psychiatry just put it in this corner here uh, how should we do this yeah we'll put that here so the psychiatry needs an armchair for the psychiatrist and it needs a couch for the patient so again same as the GP's office you can see it's quite close to the door here I'm doing exactly the same putting it close to the door and that is actually all that is required in this room so you can see um, at the top there minimum room size three by three door chair armchair but again we can stick our friends the medicine cabinets in so these medicine cabinets are going to help with both treatment and diagnosis because that's what we're going to do in this psychiatry just get this right and as I ah, as I keep saying um, it, it can be quite expensive so you can see what well, I started off with a 160k I think it was 159k something like that um, and already we're going to be quite low on funds so feel free just to kind of build this in slowly um, and just gradually increase the number of medicine cabinets you've got. Um, I'm just doing this all in one go just because we're not going to build much more right now. We're going to hire a few people, we'll build a staff room, um, but after that, that's really it. Um, so I don't mind running it a bit fine on money at the very start. Obviously, we don't want to have to be in a position where we take out a loan, but hopefully that ain't going to happen. So you can see if we put another medicine cabinet here, it's actually going to block off the other part of the room. So we cannot fit one there, but we can stick one here. So we've already got, what, 10, 19% here, um, slightly less than what we could fit in the other rooms. but. That's because of these two pieces of furniture. Probably get away with fitting one in here, actually. There you go. 20% extra diagnosis. And see, can we do anything else? Nah. 20% extra diagnosis, which is going to be real helpful. 
So the only thing that we're missing now is a staff room. So I'm just going to stick a staff room. Uh, everywhere is kind of out the way. I don't want them to have to go too far to get to the staff room. But we're just going to stick it here for now. So again, we get our three um, sofas in, get our snack machine and drink, stick our bins in because they're going to start using those. And now we can just bang in some gold stars. Because I do care about this procedure room. Oh, I forgot to do the gold stars and the psychiatry, so we'll go back to that in a second. Staff room, you definitely want a level five procedure room. Um, I'm just gonna put them behind here just so I can keep my symmetry. Um, yeah, you definitely want a level five procedure room here because um, it will definitely speed up our staff recovering and being full of energy to crack on with the rest of their shifts. So, let me just quickly get this up to level 5 prestige. Shouldn't take too long. Level 4 already. So you can see that bar isn't actually moving. But we know, there you go, that it's going up. So there we go. Let's just add a few, let's stick a drinks machine in here, let's stick a snacks machine, just so people can't complain that they're too thirsty or hungry. Do you know what, I'm just gonna move that slightly just so it's not too crowded by the door. And I know this has been a bit of a long intro. However, we should now have pretty much a full setup. That'll last us a while. So, new technology. We've been contacted by Bungie. Bungle, not Bungie. They do Destiny. Great game. Um, Bungle Technologies, who run various research hospitals across the country, county, they have an interesting proposition for us. Their psychiatry license was recently revoked due to an instrument. <laughs> We're supposed to, have to go into it. They want to send us psychiatry patients, and in exchange will allow us to buy some of the latest technology. Until our organization requires a research license, we need all the technology we can get our hands on. Sounds great. So, number one, already got our um, hustle to level three. Next we need to do is cure a patient in psychiatry. So uh, this is going to be a tiny bit boring, but we're just going to leave them. Here are our psychiatry patients. Thinks he's a rock star. We still don't have a decent GP yet. I know that guy's got the GP skills, so I'm probably gonna hire him, but I just want to have a look at what the next one brings in. Just quickly before that takes too much time. Mm. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna hire this guy. Ooh, stick him in here. Just pause it quickly. All right, mock star. Patients believe themselves to be one of the greatest rock stars the world's ever seen, but sadly they are gaga. We send the patient for treatment in our psychiatry. So now we've got two doctors. Let's just quickly stop that one from working in the GP's office. And once they're done with that patient, they'll pop into the GP's office. Uh, they'll pop into the psychiatry room and hopefully we'll get that cure pretty quickly. I don't want to hire a litter into the hospital. We've already got a janitor, so that's fine. We've got an assistant. I'm going to hire another assistant just for when one goes on break. Although, I haven't got the most amount of money. Um, and just quickly before I get too far, I'm going to bring, as always, the diagnosis special for treatment down slightly. 
add the fast track decision making and promote staff automatically something we spoke about before but if you've forgotten this means that once a patient has been fully diagnosed um, they don't have to go back to the GP's office if they weren't fully diagnosed in the GP's office to go to their treatment so it makes for quicker decisions, less queues at the GP's office, and promotes that automatically, does what it says on the tin, we don't have to manually do it. It gives them a moderately happy pay increase. So the only thing with that is we just have to keep an eye on um, our staff happy with their pay. Really quick and easy to do. And as you can see, we cured a um, psychiatry patient, so we have new technology. So we can now upgrade a machine Bungle Technologies have given us access to some of their latest technologies, a pharmacy drug mixer upgrade and a general diagnosis easy scan machine upgrade. If we buy these for our machines, they will become more powerful, helping us diagnose and cure more patients. Upgrade a machine, we need a janitor with the mechanics qualification, select it, click up to upgrade, janitor will do the upgrade. Give it a try and they might have more tech for us. And then again, it's just this is how you upgrade machines. So. You can see that guy is no longer a mock star. It's going to stick a bench here just before they complain too much. And we can now upgrade machines. Let's just check. Does our janitor have mechanics? Yes, he does. So let's get that machine upgraded. So you can see increases 25% treatment power, but it costs 10 days. Uh, 10 days. It costs 10 grand and takes 37 days for us to do. So let's get that going. See, we're cutting it pretty close on the old profit and loss there, 1.4K. Let's get this machine upgraded and then we're going to be on to the next objective. So we're getting quite a lot of psychiatry patients, so we might in the near future look at adding a extra psychiatry room not just right yet let's see what we've got here we have yeah doc. it's a decent doctor so i'm gonna hire them because our psychiatrist will soon be needing a break and ideally i want to hire another gp And I'm also going to hire another janitor um, that has maintenance because at the moment we do not have a janitor that has maintenance. So if our machines um, start to get damaged, it'll just set on fire. So I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait a bit until I get the next applicant so I can see if there's a better janitor that doesn't have the short temper trait. So. Now we've upgraded the machine, we've got another new technology. So yeah, make sure we've got a, a few fire extinguishers dotted around to keep them safe. Yeah, we've done that. Bungle Technologies are grateful for our continued support with their psychiatry patients and have given us access to one of their machines, the Extractor Pan. It's a high-tech gadget. It's great for removal of unwanted kitchen utensils. Look out for people in need of this. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock some more technology. Buying another plot of land nearby would give us more space to develop the hospital. So, we've actually unlocked now the Pan's Lab um, room, which will cure the illness Pandemic. Uh, very, uh, very topical right now, um, in the name anyway. Um, what Pandemic is, is just guys with, and girls, with pans stuck onto their head, and we need to remove them. So, Let's just pause just so we can have a look at some of the things. So we've got a new illness, verbal diarrhea, that's for the pharmacy, that's fine. And that's telling us how to buy more land. So we can now work towards getting a one-star hospital. And to do that, we need to get the hospital to level six. We're currently at level three. We need to own two buildings. We own one already. And we need to cure three patients in the PANS lab. So, the pan so first we need to build then a PANS lab room. And there it is, the PANS lab. So it's gonna cost us 20K. It's a decent chunk. 
and it needs to be four by four so we can't put it here we're going to need to put it give it a bit more space and put it over here now as i said i do like to keep the treatment rooms together i still class the psychiatry as a bit of can be a diagnosis room and a treatment so i like to keep it fairly close to the gp um that pharmacy I definitely will move once we get a bit busier because we'll need another GP's room or we'll need another psychiatry and I can load them all on that side. So for now, let's build a pan lab. So let's have a look at this machine um, and let's see. So the patient's going to stand on that um, kind of platform there. So we want it that way close to the door. Um, and I've actually positioned the door in a really bad place. I like to put them in the corner of the rooms just so then it doesn't mess anything up. Um, and all we need is that in this room um, to have it be okay to go. But as always, let's get a fire extinguisher in there. And now we can place a lot of gold stars just to get that attractiveness level up and also get the prestige up. So, this looks really silly and I know it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Some people like to give their hospital a bit more of an authentic feel. And sure, go ahead. You know, that's to everyone's own taste. I like to make sure that I'm getting the maximum out of all my rooms and trying to make them as efficient as possible um, to help you guys out and get those three stars. So now we've built a pans lab. Um, we need a doctor for it. So you can see there, doctor required. So let's see, do we have any doctors with any treatment? Not yet. We're gonna build a ward at some point. So I'm just gonna grab this nurse just cause they will be good for when we get a ward. And let's just wait and see what new applicants we get. So we haven't had anyone with Ah, there we go. We're getting someone with pans, the pandemic now. So we are going to want to get a doctor in soon. So let's have a look. That's not what we wanted now, is it? Um, I'm going to go ahead and hire this janitor just so we can make sure all the machines are upgraded. Uh, sorry, maintained. We can't upgrade the extractor pan just yet. And there you go. Our doctor have discovered a new illness, pandemic. Involuntary attachment to kitchen utensils caused by extremely low levels of culinary skill. <laughs> the pan must be carefully removed with a massive magnet. We'll sell them for treatment. Um, so, staff wise. So, all right, this, this, um, this doctor can work in there because they do have the treatment skills. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick them in there and I'm gonna hire this GP here um because they've got the gp skill so let's make sure that they only work in the gp's office these guys only work in the psychiatrist and this guy can pretty much do anything so let's get things going so let's let's have a look at how this one works what's our lazy bones we need a ward, um, so I'm going to get the patient to wait just while we watch this and then we'll fill the ward shortly. We haven't got that much money to be honest. And there you go. It's pretty, pretty simple. Um, uh, there it is, missed it. So, it's going to look a bit weird. So this is where we're going to start needing um, space for sure. Um, when we buy a new building but let's get that ward going we know we already know how we like to build these oh in fact oh, I've done this wrong let's just let's just plonk it here for now I am going to change it obviously it looked a bit small well, 
works. All right, let's stick with two curtains here. Let's get a, another bed in. So we can now treat five patients. We've got a decent amount of space. This is gonna help with our diagnosis and treatment. So let's make sure we get quite a lot of these in. But as you can see, I am about to run out of money. So let's leave it like that for now. I'm just gonna bang it in the middle here-ish. Just gonna move it slightly. Um, terrible positioning, but we will buy a new location very shortly, as soon as we get the money. Yeah, stick it here for now. Um, and we want to enable two nurses to work in here because we've got five beds. So let's get this going. We have no money. And yeah, we've made we've made a profit, but our expenses come out at the end. We see our revenue come in um, throughout the quarter. So let's just wait a bit and we will get that money right back. Uh, and what we can actually do is we can actually bump up the prices 100%. Uh, yep, it's gonna put our reputation a bit of a hit, but we can take that for now. Um, we're gonna, just gonna focus on getting that cash in because we want to buy a new building as soon as possible. So we've got a challenge here. So I don't think we've had one of these before. Our staff will often issue us with challenges. Um, so this one is from our senior assistant, Ned Longbottom, um, maybe a relative of Neville. Um, I don't know uh, about you, but I find the relentless stream of death somewhat depressing. Do you think we could go a few months without any fatalities? So the challenge is 90 days without a death. We've got 180 days to do it. So we can actually get a death and still complete the, the, uh, the challenge. And if we do it, happiness gets bumped by 25% and we get some kudos points. So yes, definitely let's give that a go. Um, we need to hire more nurses. That's an expensive nurse. We also need to hire more doctors. So let's just wait and see what we get next. Oh, that's a death, so that's going to be our progress reset. So I'm going to get this nurse just because they're cheaper than the other one. Um, I don't want to spend too much money. And we already have a janitor with the ghost mechanic, so that's no issue. Let's watch him vacuum up the ghost. And Megan essentially now we just need to give it some time. Nice words of the day. And Remember, wait until we've got enough money. And oh, we have got quite a bit of money actually. So we can buy another building. So let's have a look at the buildings. Reason. We've well, got this one. Decent size. It's plot three. Nice um, words, yeah, it's a decent size. 70, this is a, yeah, that, that's a big building it's for 75k. And then, yeah. 50k. Let's go for the smaller one first. Um, I know it's only a smaller size, but you can see so it's 600 meters squared, so 16 days to build. So, what that's roughly $42 uh, square meter. So, it's pretty cheap. Let's have a look at what the others were. Yeah, 1364, 75k. So, that's about in the 55, 56 range. And that one's 52. So actually, this this plot is is the best one to buy um, for meter squared in costs. So what have we got here? We've got Bogwort. We've had that before, and uh, Portishead. Um, again, that's going to be in our ward. So we've had that one before. So no issue there. So we now just waiting for our building to be built, and now we have two buildings. So. What I might do now is wait till this one's healed or cured so we can not kick anyone out of the, the room while they're being treated. There we go. Let them get changed. And then I'm gonna move this room. Brilliant, that's done. So I'm gonna quickly move the room. And 
I'm going to stick it here. All right, so we actually have a patient here um, with lightheadedness. So we know how to treat that one. So we can see we discovered lightheadedness. Um, so let's get the patient to wait um, and let's build a deluxe clinic. matter how big we do in this room really. Um, it's just gonna make it that just so it lines up nicely. And we know to stick a fire extinguisher in. Never forget the fire extinguisher. And oh, I didn't do gold stars in my ward, did I? So yeah, continually forget the gold stars. But let's get them in just to get that prestige up. Prestige is going to help everyone being happy in the room. We unfortunately can't do things like um, the medicine cabinets in this. That would be great just to get that treatment power up. So the, re the way that we get really good treatment in these sorts of rooms is by having really skilled workers and by upgrading those machines. So let's see if we can get this up. So we got level four now. So I'm just gonna bang a few more. Ah. Yeah, sometimes this can be a bit fiddly to control. I can imagine it's a lot easier on a keyboard and mouse. So we've got that up to level five. We've got two buildings. Our hospital's nearly um, level six. Um, we're doing pretty well on our challenge. Let's see who we can hire. So nurses. Let's hire another nurse that can work in the ward. And let's make sure that they only work in the ward. So there we go. And I only want this one to, Chloe, to work in the pharmacy. And we've got two psychiatrists, so that's fine. We really need uh, more doctors that have the treatment skill. So let's just let it run for now. We can't upgrade that machine. Or this one, but that needs a repair. It's always good just to give these all a bit of a check. Editor, to repair drug mixer. And let's cure someone with lightheadedness. And we're really close to getting that uh, first off. It shouldn't take too long. Um, and we have a reporter coming, so it's similar to what we had last time, it's a VIP visit. Essentially they come around, take a look at the hospital, and we'll get increased rep and increased kudos. And what emergency do we have? So the emergency we have is pandemic. Um, so we actually get emergencies for pretty much every illness in this, um, or every room at least in this level. We have them in um, the PANS lab, the Deluxe Clinic, the pharmacy, the psychiatry, and the, the ward. Um, the PANS one is seven um, patients, just as you can see, um, and so is the, the lightheadedness, so the, the, the Deluxe Clinic, that's also seven patients. Um, the rest of them are five and four patients. So we might want to consider getting some extra treatment rooms. We shall see. We definitely, and there we go. Oh, we, I say there we go. We didn't complete the challenge. Um, we must have someone, someone die. Um, so you don't get penalized, but you also don't get the reward. So let's check. Someone important is pick up our doctor in the PANS lab because we want to get this patient done so we can get all the emergency ones in and we really want, let's, come on, we want a doctor that has the treatment skill. Come on. You can really be at the mercy sometimes of this kind of like randomly generated. <sighs> No. Doctor 
I'll still take him though for the GP's office. But by hiring them, we got to one star. So congratulations, your soul has been awarded the one star rating by the two point health ministry. Like lightning, you have made a mockery of your detractors by striking a second time. You are commended on your endeavors into your inner workings of machines and the human mind respectively. Now focus on your budding two-headed empire or add a third by opening a new hostel in Flottering as it's currently not much of an empire. So we've unlocked level three, which is Flottering. We've unlocked the Cardiology, which is another uh, diagnostic room. And we have unlocked the Deluxe Olux 2. So we'll now be able to upgrade that machine. Um, so I'm going to cut it here. Um, I'll show you how to get the second star in the next video. And if we've got time, we'll go into the third star. So if you liked this video and you found it helpful, please make sure you hit the like button um, drop me a comment. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you'd like to see more of, um, any feedback at all and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get up to date with all my uh, videos. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.